Mark here. You know me as some old fat guy. Listen, first things first, I want to thank my new subscribers. I really appreciate you subscribing to this channel. Uh, I'm a 64 year old man. I got prescribed testosterone siphonate by my primary care physician earlier this year in 2020. And uh, I've used that opportunity not only to raise my testosterone levels, but to help me lose weight and get stronger. And uh, anyway, thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you're new to this channel, subscribe because you're going to see this old man get six pack abs. Yeah, I said it. So I got this Iron Chess Master, and today is my Iron Chess Master video for the month of December. So that's all I got. Now on with the, the rest of the video. Well, today's the day that I'm supposed to do Iron Chess Master push-ups. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. But let me tell you what happened. So, I just finished 12 weeks of working out. And uh, <clears throat> I got to tell you how my workout went. First off, let me get the book. So, I made this workout book because I like to write everything down. And you can see it says 12 week dumbbell workout diary. Because I like to hold myself accountable. So I had these sheets and I had two, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I'll be honest with you, the first nine weeks I was on the money. Really consistent. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday were legs. Not so consistent. But I might as well be honest with what I was doing, you know, I don't want to lie to myself, I don't want to lie to you. Um, I was getting progressively stronger. So like I say, the first nine weeks, I, I was hitting it. The workout, that is. Anyway, so, week 10, I was feeling exuberant. And I don't know exactly, I think it was either Monday's workout or Wednesday's workout, because I, I was feeling tight, you know, from my workouts, like the, the sore, like your work, your, you can feel your muscles are getting exercise, you're hoping they're growing, you're getting stronger. But week 10, I did something and, and I pinched, I just felt it pop just now. I pinched my left shoulder. Now, a few years ago, I injured my left shoulder and I had to go to physical therapy and, and get those elastic bands and do all that. And, Anyway, I injured my shoulder, and so I've been taking it easy. I've been working out, but not near as much. I wasn't doing, I wasn't doing four sets. I was doing three, and in some cases, two sets of, of the listed exercises. But I, I think it's better now. But when you're not exercising, in my case, for sure, you're regressing, you know. If you're not keeping your muscles up here, they're going to drop down to here. And if you neglect them completely, they're going to you're going to start from zero again. So I hope I'm not there. Anyway. So that's that. I today's the last day of uh 12 weeks. Now I have been walking consistently, but I've learned a lot about walking and weight loss. And uh, things that I've been doing that I thought were correct, uh, maybe not so much. So, uh, going forward, instead of counting miles, and instead of counting calories, as far as weight loss, and on the treadmill you can count your calories, now I'm counting steps. And I'm using my smartphone. I just bought myself for... Uh, I treated myself to an upgrade from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 11. And so 
they probably had this gadget on my 7, but it just became more obvious on the 11. And that is the, uh, it counts your steps. So if you keep your phone in your pocket, uh, you roughly count your steps. Anyway, this morning I did 10,000 steps, a little over that. And uh, going into January, in order to burn more fat efficiently, I'm going to increase my steps, my daily step count, from 10,000 a day up to uh, between 12 and 17,000 a day. Probably 15,000 is a good round area to hit. And uh, I'm going to change the way I've been dieting. Okay, for the whole year of 2020, I haven't counted calories. The only thing I did is I, uh, I stopped eating processed sugar. I stopped eating anything with flour, uh, breaded products or bread. And uh, then I started intermittent fasting. But, um, and that, that helped me be successful. I mean, I started off the, uh, the, this blog at a 257.6, I think it was. And I weighed 290, excuse me, I weighed 193 this morning. And I'm hoping to, to get down to at least 190 by January 1st, 2021. But, so what I'm gonna be doing different is I'm going to change up my diet because I've been listening to a lot of uh, YouTube channels from fitness guys and that have been successful and uh, so my plan for January and starting the new year is to count calories and macro units and macros are your carbohydrates your proteins and your fats and uh, so that's going to change it up for me I'm going to be doing more push-ups too. Uh, anyway, enough of that. So I'm going to get the Iron Chess Master now, and I'm going to see if I can accomplish 23. And I don't know. Like I said, my shoulder, it feels better, but it was really pinging uh, the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> and I couldn't lift near as much in my workouts. I had to drop down. 10 pounds, sometimes 15 pounds in some cases. So let me get the Iron Chest Master and let's get started. Okay. Here we go. I'm not liking this today. Okay, I'll double check my count, but uh, <sighs> I'm pretty sure that was 25. Anyway, I'm going to push myself harder in January because I realize for 2020, <sighs> I realized for 2020, I was pushing myself, but I wasn't giving it 100%. And if I'm gonna achieve my goals, 
I gotta give myself 100%. So, this is some old fat guy. I just did 25 iron chest master push ups with the fly. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.